Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. And let's talk. We got Krishan Rock, Tory Lanez update. We got NBA Young Boy. Okay, we got CJ So Cool. And we also got Johnny Blaze and Megan James. Yes, the mess is really messy, y'all. So let's start with Krishan Rock. So it has been brought to my attention that allegedly Krishan Rock got ACS, I mean CPS, called on her allegedly by concerned fans. She is being investigated by Miami Department of Children's Services. Allegedly, they figured she is in Miami, so they called allegedly. Yes, I said allegedly like a thousand times, so don't even try to come for me. So Media Takeout put it out. Twitter calls child services on Kashan Rock for smoking weed online while pregnant, okay? And if y'all do not know what we talking about... Check out my video. I already speak on this plus more things in this video. The video is literally right there. You don't have to scroll too far. It's literally right there. I will put the link down in the description below for anybody that would just like it that way. Now, if CPS snatched that baby from Krishan Rock after birth and put it up for adoption, would be crazy to adopt that baby. It's probably mental illness all and through that baby. Fetuses really carry trauma and suffer long-term effects. I wouldn't be surprised if Krishan end up with a CPS case after delivery. I wonder if CPS gonna be at the hospital when Krishan delivers her baby. And this was two days ago, y'all. Um, is it too early to call CPS on Krishan and Blueface? I'm gonna be the first MF that's going to call CPS when Krishan Rocks give Bip. Krishan Rock gonna know about it when CPS come take that baby and nobody's going to feel bad. Okay, but the thing is, is there a lot of stuff that Blue and Krishan have said and done on the internet that could have CPS be involved and rolling they blunt on live isn't helping okay Krishan's so dumb the fed's gonna be at her door for that baby they don't even play like that these people will love you and hate you she gotta know somebody then send her stuff to cps by now i'm calling cps as soon as Krishan rock dropped that baby i'm calling cps as soon as she drops the baby it's too early to call cps on Krishan rock hmm I'm calling CPS as soon as she has the baby. CPS going to be in Krishan Rock baby's delivery room. This girl said, I'm calling CPS as soon as Krishan Rock have that baby. Somebody said, is it too early to call CPS on Blueface and Krishan? Hmm. CPS needs to be on standby when Krishan gives birth. Me calling CPS on Krishan if she really pregnant. If not, mm, psych ward. I'm calling CPS as soon as Krishan have the baby. Also, I'm calling CPS as soon as, all right, then I'm calling CPS. I hope Krishan and Blueface know CPS going to be watching them like hawks. Uh, first slip up and that kid is gone for real. So as y'all know, it could be any one of these people was claiming that they would call CPS on Krishan Rock. Let's, the list goes on. I'm calling CPS on Krishan and Blueface. Krishan Prego, call CPS right now. And that was in January of this year. <laughs> as soon as Krishan gets birth, I'm calling CPS. All right, that was in May. Um, So listen, y'all, it could be any one of these people plus more, okay? This is just like the icing on the cake, okay? Now, I don't know who did it. Do y'all know who did it? If this happened, I mean, it wouldn't be shocking because of look how they look how they are all over the internet. Now, if somebody that was not in the spotlight got called on smoking or drinking around a child, of course, CPS, ACS is going to be called. So what makes them any different? They're doing it and everybody is condoning this behavior and all type of stuff. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that it's going to be a big shock? If CPS is actually investigating Kashawn and Blueface, let me know down in the comments below and also let me know why. I mean, because if that is the case, it's not nobody's fault but theirs. You have to be more mature. You got to think about the baby that's going to be coming. You got to change your ways. Y'all can't be just living like this. It's kind of weird for real. Now, y'all know Tori, the case has been done. He has been convicted and was guilty, but it's still going, okay? Because he is trying to let everybody know that he's innocent. So, allegedly, there is a video of the incident of that night and kelsey is seen shooting megan in the video allegedly okay so we about to hear this clip from this guy who claims that a witness had the video and he is saying that the cops on um the the cops had something to do with it and tory lawyer listen and i tell y'all that there was a video of the tory lane's 
Megan and Kelsey shooting. Didn't I tell y'all it was a video? Y'all ain't believe me, right? Them detectives trashed the video or did something, but the eyewitness... All right, so right here, this is request evidence from the LAPD. Click this link to view. This link is only valid for 10 days. Contact, contact the LAPD. Here is description to assist you. Video footage of incidents. Per an insider, an alleged witness came forward. She was interviewed by Detective Ebru Hardy. I don't know how to Ebert Hardy. I don't know how to say their name, okay? But allegedly, this is out. And I don't know, y'all. I felt like hopefully if this is true, um, the video will surface and Tory Lanez could just get out of jail. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, y'all already know, I already spoke about this multiple times. Megan, when she first came out, she was kind of joking about it. It was real nonchalant. It seemed like weird to me the way she came out and said that Tory did it along with the trial. And on top of that, Kelsey was trying to act like she was going to be silent. And then on top of that, Kelsey and Megan linked up after the incident okay remember megan wasn't talking to kelsey mm -hmm. and then and then remember the phone call with kelsey and tori mm -hmm. and tori apologizing on the phone but nobody knew what he was apologizing for he didn't say those words like i'm sorry i shot megan he did not say that he could have been saying sorry for playing both of them and you know they friends and he was like dipping and dobbing and both of the women's like it could have been anything but I already spoke on how I feel about that. I truly felt because of everything that came out, I felt more that he was innocent. I'm not going to go into every single thought that I had because I already talked about this in multiple videos. So y'all can scroll down on my channel and you will, whatever thumbnail has Megan in them on it, just click it and look what I have to say. But I don't know how this case is going to go, y'all. Um, let me know down in the comments below. Did you think that Tory or do you think that Tory is still innocent or you think that is, you know, he guilty and he did what um, everybody's saying that he's did. Even if, even though the trial was fishy, I was following the trial. I was following everything. I was following this since it happened. And I'm going to let y'all know this right now. Some fishy stuff is going on. <laughs> NBA young boy finally responds to Nicolet Gotti, who is John Gotti's daughter. All right. So listen to the things that he had to say. You know, we got it. We, we got it, daughter. I'm going to tell you like this. I hope you do that. Words away. Two, three years from now. I don't do a my business, I hate that. And when it come to her daddy, that need to be in my mentions. I don't fuck with him. I mean, he feels real strongly about Nicolette doing something to Yaya. Like, he really don't care about his baby mother. Like, he is, you could tell that he doesn't care about this woman at all. But how do y'all feel about his response to Nicolette? Now, yeah, if y'all don't know, this is Nicolette's response, okay? Your daughter was ran through by an animal with 12 different baby mamas, your little circus animal, and all of a pack zoo animals. Okay, listen. I don't know about his response. He, you know, he was a little kind of harsh on Yaya, but you know, that's a baby daddy, baby mother, whatever situation that got going on. They have some history and some, clearly some animosity, you know, he got towards her. But like I said, Nicolette ain't doing that to Yaya. Like, I don't even understand why even NBA Youngboy would even have a thought of his, in his mind that Nicolette would really do something to Yaya. Like, that's just my opinion. But how do y'all feel about his response to the mess? CJ so cool. This is going to be an update because you already know that he goes on his story. He expresses himself, all right? Now, y'all already know the incident between him and royalty, the back and forth, and he wants custody of his kids. Now, my kids have never saw so much commotion until the breakup. Now, the mother has involuntarily put us in the most drama we've ever seen in the last nine years. Violating the kids' safety and jeopardizing the freedom of the family's breadwinner just to satisfy a nobody unemployed Imbecile, I can't wait to go back to court. I'm staying to the world now. I'm taking my kids from her. So they don't end up homeless in the streets with her, okay? So y'all already know CJ Soku is not playing. He is really putting his foot down and really going to go in with this, trying to get custody of the twins. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that's a good move or do you not think that's a good move for the twins? Let me know why or why not down in the comments below. Now, Johnny Blaze recently went on Megan James' podcast, and everybody is going ballistic on Megan, Megan, okay? Because she pulled out a drug test, was calling Johnny Blaze a crackhead, all type of stuff. 
it definitely was giving very much she was being herself you already know sometimes she be petty she is outspoken i didn't really see anything wrong with it but a lot of people was taking the crackhead word real serious as if it's not a word yes it sounds kind of harsh but what else is she supposed to say drug addict it really wouldn't even matter she said what she said all right but let's get into the evidence okay let's go okay so um i brought a drug test for you today wait how long have you been clean three and a half years and so you only smoke weed pretty much okay guys so johnny is gonna prove to us today that she is no longer a crackhead okay when i first saw this Johnny Blaze seemed kind of shocked, a little embarrassed, and, you know, Megan seemed nonchalant when she took out the test. She was like, listen, we're going to get to the bottom of this. But I'm going to let y'all know this right now. It's Cat, okay? Johnny Blaze clearly is a good actor, or I don't know what's going on, but we about to get into these receipts, okay? Because it definitely blew up. Now, Johnny Blaze says, you think I care about you talking, taking my interview down when I'm close with folks like Angela Yee and other major outlets that I that ask all the time to interview me? I don't beg, girl. I'm Johnny Blaze. The F I look like. I ask you genuinely. I would have never thought you would call me a crackhead ten times how I look. I didn't mind taking a test. The problem is you use this for clickbait when you could have used any clip and now mad they attacking you. Let's be for real. You are not Wendy. Please tread lightly because I could have folded you. I'm not bad girls club, Megan. Okay, so right here she's basically not, you know, not defending Megan. She's sticking to this um, crackhead stuff and she act like she didn't know all of that stuff, right? You best move around. And she added Megan James. I'm really not the one. You taking it down shows what you really are. You ain't show no messages me begging you. Show the associate was excited to work with you. All right, y'all can pause and read the rest of this. Megan, please, if you want to, just meet up. She ready to fight, okay? Now, basically, Megan's letting her know about what the blogs are saying and all this stuff. And, and Johnny said, Megan, what do you want me to say? I didn't say nothing wrong. I said, what did y'all want me to? But that. I didn't mind taking a test. You're upset at me because you used the part as clickbait and it backfired. I called but allowed to ask for an interview. I didn't beg. I asked you and you told me that you can't interview me yet because I had an interview with somebody else on the same station. Pause to read the rest. Um, I didn't mind the interview. I ain't beg you. You asked. You used a clickbait chat backfire. I didn't mind the drug test. It's the crackhead word that blew me. I chose not to swing because we have eight plus years being cool. Know the difference um, of what I agreed on. Lastly, you can't box so I know the real you. Sad part about it is I felt we was cool, didn't kid. The test, it was the crackhead constantly said, you not showing messages of me begging you. Got to be out your mind, little girl. She also says, I didn't mind the test. It's the crackhead name that got me hot. But she said on video, she broke. So what you think would have happened? Now, like I said, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, well, you know, Johnny seems a little shocked. And, you know, it looked like it was, you know, everybody probably seen that. It looked like the drug test was an ambush also, okay? Everybody also was talking about that, oh, my God, why would Megan pull out a drug test to try to have Johnny prove that she's not a crackhead and she's not on drugs, da, 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 da. All right, so y'all seen everything that um, Johnny Blaze said, right? She copping a plea, da, 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 da. Now, listen to this, all right? Now, Megan, I know you're doing your job, but who the F are you to order me to take a drug test, okay? Now, it's not a reality TV show, the F. That was the response to that person. Now, also right here, now, she wanted to take one to clear her name. So, basically, Megan and the Hollywood Group Chat podcast is basically saying, listen, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Listen, Johnny already wanted this. This was her idea type stuff, okay? So, basically, that is what she's saying or they are saying. Now, let's fast forward. Now, Megan's so shady. Johnny has reached a level of maturity. I love to see because ain't no way. I love Megan, but there had to be had some conversation prior to pulling out a test. Mm -hmm. Are we about to get straight into that in a minute? I love Megan. She was built for this exact type of of show so you got people that likes the type of thing that's going on and some people that don't clearly big jeff out of the stuff all right and then johnny blaze is under the comments so because i'm calm i'm on drugs that's not exactly what she's saying she basically saying if he was on drugs you would have went off <laughs> 
Oh my God, I'm sorry. I want to interview like Megan. Megan, you did not have to call her a crackhead. You don't know somebody's battles. They are so disrespectful and disgusting. Your tone and everything was condescending, okay? Now, somebody said cancel Megan. Megan said, I'm screaming. Yeah, they really was trying to cancel Megan because of how she came off on her podcast. Like, what? Um, Hey, boo, Johnny asked me to reach out. She said she was supposed to interview, but I don't know what happened. Who didn't beg for an interview? Look at it. It says, Hola, boo, Johnny had asked me. And it says, hey, Johnny is out here. And she wanted me to ask if you guys could do an interview. And these are our different months. <laughs> um, She was cool with it because it was her idea. This is what I'm saying. So basically, Megan James is responding to this person. She was cool with the crackhead statement, the whole interview, and even said, yeah, because crackheads do too much. That is exactly what she said. If you didn't like, you should have spoke up. That's how I feel. Now, I wrote Johnny. I said, hey, Megan, in the comments saying you wanted to take the drug test to clear your name. Is that true? Then she sends me this. Y'all can pause to read all of this. Basically, Megan James is adding Johnny. I could if your page wasn't getting deleted every five minutes. We talked about it pre-interview and over voice notes when you came up with the drug test idea. She's basically saying that. Johnny says, dude, I didn't mind the drug test. How many times have I said that? I didn't know you're call me a crackhead and you about to make me mad. So, Megan J says, you're always quick to say something, but never, but y'all never know what goes on behind the scenes. Girls be so fake, and this is why I don't do favorites. Johnny hit me up 5,000 times asking me to interview her, and will also hit me up mutual friends to ask if I would interview her. So, upon dropping her single with Neo, she asked me again, and I was like, cool, we can promo it on the podcast. Johnny came up with the drug test idea herself because she wanted to clear her name, and she knew it would go viral. If I asked if she was really a crackhead, so I asked because I don't care. It was her idea. I wasn't being disrespectful or mean. Johnny basically produced this entire segment, all right? Now, Megan said, hey, babes, man, I posted the interview, and they flipped my backup page, and then she added, you know, telling Megan her backup page, so that's why my page was suspended. John, I mean, Megan says, okay, yeah, everyone is going in on me about it. And I was like, Johnny has said nothing. So when she sent me that, I said, so the idea part is regards to the crackhead name calling and not the idea to get the drug test because people saying the test was a ambush to you. Okay, that's the question that I asked Johnny after she sent me that, okay? So she responds with this, O-T-O was. I said, I didn't get what you mean by that. Oh, you mean O. It all was a ambush. Now, she seen it yesterday, but she didn't reply. Okay, let's get back into the comments, okay? Johnny blazes a thought. That girl done been around the whole industry lot and said Drake and his friends violated her. And now she on Love & Hip Hop. This was in 2015, okay? Um, now, why Johnny Blaze using a fake pregnancy test? This was last year. I hope Johnny Blaze ain't out here faking, um, you know, taking a fake pregnancy test to keep a guy. Johnny Blaze, you ain't going to be able to fake this pregnancy now. This was in 2013, so she has a history of faking pregnancies, I'm assuming. Somebody says, I feel like Megan did nothing wrong. I don't care. People were calling Johnny a C-H. Megan was just using the phrase that people were calling her for the reason why Johnny was trying to clear her name in the first place. Now, right here, Johnny is just cursing. She's just cursing up a storm. I'm pretty sure she's talking about the guy. Now, this is a clip prior to them actually filming air. So, this is behind the scenes. We don't know drug tests. Oh, the TPO. One of our the TPO. Six and we got to start in four minutes. So, oh, that was good. I did 30 minutes. And you have in. to go over there with it. Is it me or is that a drug test that is in front of Johnny's face? She knew of this drug test, y'all. So, for everybody saying, oh, Megan just ambushed her and, and with a drug test, no. Y'all clearly see her opening up the drug test right there when Johnny is right in front of her. And while Johnny is still talking smack about the guy or whatever the case may be. And she's, uh, and she's also, and let me let y'all know, if y'all want to see the whole clip, go to my Instagram, Toxic Tea Lounge. Now, she was telling the people, like, she was asking Megan, she was like, should I record this also, like, for for whatever? And then she was like, Megan was like, all right, I guess, you know, she was like, go ahead and do it. Like, so Johnny Blaze, to me, watching that clip, is a liar, okay, in my opinion, because let's look at the facts, when everybody started bashing Megan, okay, about the drug test and calling her, uh, you know, uh, CH, okay, 
Um, she act like she was surprised when, you know, Megan was saying these things and then Megan get attacked. She not really saying that. And she's targeting Megan now as if Megan's the liar and why Megan's calling me a CA. So she act like she had the issue. But then y'all look at that clip and see Johnny letting them know, like, this is a, you know, like, I don't know. She's act like she ain't know who her ex was, like playing real childish while Megan was trying to get the name so she could say the name. But I guess she didn't want her to say the name, okay, y'all? But y'all also see Megan asking her, all right, so who's the ex for the drug test? Like, who's your ex that we're doing a drug test thing for? Basically, that's what it was. So, yes, Johnny's an actor. She ho- always has been a liar. Um, she has been caught multiple times faking pregnancies, allegedly, okay? But in my opinion, like I said, I don't... Do you think she's going to be canceled? I don't think so. But I think um, people should definitely give that same energy to Johnny Blaze because clearly the, this this stuff that's on the line circulating now is just proving that Johnny played everybody. So I hope you have that same energy for her that y'all gave Megan because Megan, y'all already know she already got a slick mouth. She says what she wants to say regardless of anything. Now, I know y'all getting upset about the CH word, okay? But I mean, that is a legit word and that's what people been calling you know those type of drug addicts like that's just what it is it's not that serious um if she would have said drug addict would have been better because i know the word ch is kind of harsh but like come on now y'all be dragging it for real for real like y'all don't know who johnny is and the things that she been doing out here like stop it y'all could have just let that pass because megan wasn't even being extra and on top of that to know that she was actually already knew what she was going to say. Megan did exactly what she was supposed to do on her podcast. So, I not just said what I said. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comments below. Let me know all your thoughts, okay? We can agree to disagree. It is what it is. Nice and simple. Keep it cute, okay? But anyway, I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all and toodaloo.